one. Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotion for you. This is some of the youth group here that's away on our tubing trip in Shawnee in East Strasburg, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to go over one of the lessons that we just went over this morning as a devotion. The title of it was Yes and No. The scripture for today is Romans chapter 6, uh, verses 1 and 2. It says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? One of the examples they looked at for this verse was Potiphar. And Potiphar in Genesis, he was accused of something that he did not do, but he was also tempted. And before he was tempted, he had decided that he was going to refuse to ever sleep with Potiphar's wife. And he had a threefold plan to say yes to God and no to sin. The first thing that he did is he refused. He refused to give in to that temptation. He refused to give in to that sin. The second thing that he did was he ran. He got out of there, right? He got away from Potiphar's wife. And the third thing that he did is he chose to rest in the Lord, right? He was ended up being thrown into jail, but he was able to rest in the Lord knowing that he said yes to God and no to sin. And because of that, Joseph was able to rise up to what God had called him to do and eventually become the right hand of Pharaoh and, and save his family and the nation of Israel. And so we, we're going to chant here, right? We're going to say, you say yes to God and no to sin. I would encourage you today, say yes to God and no to sin. So teams, what are we going to do? We're going to say yes, yes to God, God and no to sin. sin. Let's pray and I hope you have a great day. Lord, thank you for loving us. I pray that you would help us all to say yes to God and no to sin. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Have a great day.